Hello, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther, and I thought instead of doing a full-on garden tour, I would take you along with me for harvesting some of the vegetables that are finally starting to get ready. Um, you know, the last couple of weeks, it's really sort of been in a wait and, and watch period where I'm waiting for the tomatoes to ripen, for the peppers to get big enough to harvest, for the eggplants to get big enough to harvest. And we're finally getting to the stage where I can start to pick the plants and take them inside and eat them. So I thought I would share with you today, take you along while I harvest, and I could show you a couple extra little updates beyond harvesting as well for the garden. So I'm excited to show you. I've got my sun protection on and let's get going. Let's start off with our yellow pear tomatoes. I did harvest a couple. I had a friend over, oh no, it looks like one fell. Aw, that's too bad. I did harvest a couple uh, when I had a friend over a couple days ago, but they're they're ripening nicely. And uh, go ahead and ah! <laughs> wipe this off, and I think I'm gonna eat it right here. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Next up is my cherry tomatoes. I covered them in a bag um, so that the squirrels wouldn't get to them and it is about to rain so I'm gonna harvest the ones that are ripe so that they don't split look at those beautiful beautiful tomatoes so pretty all right I'll even take that in and I'll let that ripen inside oh yeah so although my tomato plants in general have been struggling they've i'm not sure exactly what is wrong with them i have given them fertilizer um, liquid fertilizer um, it could be a disease it could be from the some of the nutrients i put in the soil maybe you're causing them to curl i'm not sure but also we didn't have a lot of production in the extreme heat we had some days with really high heat and it looks like the last couple days it's been pretty mild and we have some flowers producing again let's check out how our rutgers tomatoes are doing oh <laughs> Oh yeah, this one, this one's ready to harvest. Let's take her off. That's a nice one. Let's see, let's take a look at the other two. This one down here, well, it's pretty close. You know what? I think I'll harvest it now and I'll take it inside and let it ripen the next couple days. And probably in two days on the counter. That'll be perfect, ready for breakfast toast. Oh yeah. All right, now let's close this thing back up. And I just do a simple knot, which I'm gonna do off camera. Look, in the bed that is in the ground versus in the containers, and how generally where there is a little bit of curling happening, it's not near to the level that we're seeing happening in my container beds. Our zebra tomatoes are starting to actually look, our green zebra tomatoes are actually starting to look like green zebra tomatoes. So pretty, healthy, overall. This tomato can be finicky in that you need to harvest it just when it starts turning and it's kind of a firm tomato. If you wait too long the texture can get mushy but generally it's a really delicious tomato. We've got plenty of banana peppers to harvest. I've already taken out a couple but I'll grab a couple more. Let's see. Well these are all still somewhat small. I think I'll leave them. Yeah the one I took is a good size. Oh look! Another jalapeno. Or no, this is another banana pepper. I'll leave that a little bit longer. Let's see what we got over here. These are our, our jalapeno plants that we didn't overwinter. They're getting to a good size. And down in here, we have our first eggplant to harvest. This is a ping tongue eggplant, so this normally gets long. I want to harvest it before it, uh, gets dull looking right now it's still shiny so I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut this off
Oh yeah, look at that beauty. That's a nice looking eggplant. Now let's turn to harvesting some jalapenos. So I'm just gonna pop that right off. I think I'll leave that one on a little bit longer. Let's see what else we got. We got any others? Hard not to, oh yeah. <laughs> There's a couple more. Now those are a little bit burned looking. I think I'll leave, I think I'll leave those two. Yeah. I'll harvest it. Nice little harvest there. That eggplant, this is the Nagasaki long, Japanese long eggplant, which is, um, this is the single seed challenge eggplant. It's coming along nicely, but it's not quite right the size to harvest. Our Jimmy Nardello peppers are getting really big. These you don't pick until they turn red. You can eat them at this stage, but they really turn a nice, sweet Italian kind of flavor for sautés and other things. So you want to wait until they start turning colors and are red almost all the way up and down and around. And I'm thinking we now have an idea of what the mystery plant pepper was. I think it most likely was a poblano pepper. What do you all think? Any ideas what it looks like based on what it looks like now. I don't think any of them, the lady said it wasn't a hot one, so it's probably poblano. What do you think? I'd love to hear your guesses. This is one that I know is an ancho poblano pepper, and it does look a lot like the one on the mystery plant. But I don't know enough about peppers, so I want to hear what you all think. Oh yeah. That'll go nicely with those cherry tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. While we're at it, I thought I'd show you some of the things that I have planted um, for the fall season so far. Down here we have some zinnias I planted. This is along the area where we had some garlic plants before that I pulled up a few weeks ago. I don't see anything sprouting yet, so the seeds may be too old, but I also planted some chocolate sunflower seeds over here uh, about a week ago. If I don't, we had a rain yesterday, so the soil under there should be damp. If I don't see anything, uh, probably in the next day or two, I'll probably plant some more sunflower seeds over here. And before I go, I just wanted to show you the coxcomb flowers have really started building up to that sort of comb shaped that I absolutely love about this flower. Just think they are so stunning and unique looking compared to other flowers in the garden. And look here guys, we have another sunflower that's blossomed. Looks like some critter got to one of the leaves. We have one up here that tomorrow will probably be fully open. Since I last filmed, the other one has fully bloomed. So now we have two sunflowers at the same time, which I love. And down here you can see a couple more sunflower seeds that I planted. Um, we lost one of our sunflowers in the last storm. It just broke in half, um, so I thought I'd plant some more. And you can see uh, right there there's a couple more and some right up there that I planted. So um, hopefully we'll have a fall nice fall set of sunflowers as well. I might even plant a couple more in between the areas of the ones that we already have so that in the fall we have some nice, nice flowers. Our volunteer cleome has started blooming as has our volunteer zinnias. So pretty. Kind of a magenta color on it. It's not quite as pink, it's more magenta compared to the ones in the other bed. I thought I'd also mention that I have one zucchini plant that is not in bridal tool container. This is my Lakota squash plant. I just came out with some uh, duct tape to get the, the um, vine borer and squash bug eggs 
off of it you know you just rub the duct tape against the spot where the you see the eggs and it comes right off doesn't hurt the plant at all but it's doing really nicely it's got a couple flowers I do have tool that covers the base of the plant and I did catch a vine borer coming out from that plant and I definitely killed it the netting actually helped because it got caught in the top of the netting but this Lakota squash plant thus far has done pretty well and I think covering the base of it with tool loosely really helped uh, limit access to its base at least and then hopefully we can maintain the rest of the plant going forward you know it's all just one giant experiment <laughs> and I think I'll harvest some of my zinnias and Indian blanket flowers and maybe a couple of the calendula flowers to bring in Right, that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that like button if you aren't already a subscriber please consider doing so and make sure you have that alarm bell set so that you get alerts when i post new content and otherwise i'll see you next time <laughs>